the, uh, the testimony this morning and uh, your leadership in these areas. You know, you think about you think about the exciting developments and and the prospects. You know, Dr. Dewitt, your your focus on the uh, the, the micro reactors uh, is really quite exciting for a place like Alaska, where we're not connected to anybody else's grid, and you've got to have some level of scalability. You've got to be able to take it down to, to, to small communities or uh, perhaps with our military installations. I, I look at this and, and say there is room for, for um, extraordinary potential. As with any good idea, though, um, you've, got, you've got situations relating to, to the financing and you have, you have a regulatory process. So I want to start with my questions this morning on the, on the regulatory aspect of it. Uh, Mr. Hopkins, you, you probably have a, as much experience as anybody with New Scale in terms of the process that you have gone through. You've been um, underway for about 15 years, working with the NRC since, since 2008. And as you have outlined it, it my takeaway is you think that you are able to work within uh, the NRC licensing um, process as it is. Mr. Kaczynski, you have suggested that um, there are some real challenges within the process as it exists today, taking these new technologies and, and basically trying to, to make them fit within a, a structure that has been designed for for basically a, a different model or a different approach. Can I have a, a more fulsome discussion on this issue of whether or not we need to see this licensing framework restructured to be more uh, adaptable, to recognize that we have a whole range of different technologies that we are considering right now, and um, recognizing that, that time is money, um, is what do we do with the regulatory process as it, as it exists now? So I, I kick that out for, for general discussion. Uh, Mr. Hopkins, Mr. Kaczynski, go ahead. Senator, my, uh, we have been with the, working with the uh, NRC since 2008. However, there are differences between our small modular reactor and a large plant. There's, there's exceptions, as an example, we don't have any hydrogen production because we're oxygen starved in our reactors. So therefore, we don't need a hydrogen re a recombiner. So there are things that we are working with the NRC, which takes a lot of time and effort to get them understanding of what those differences are. We typically do that what's called topical reports. So any of these variances that we see, we write a technical paper for review by the NRC. And so far, I think we've submitted eight or nine of these topical reports. I believe we have 15 to submit. But we view our opportunity here, as was mentioned earlier, to help pave the way for the next Gen 4 advanced reactor. Because as the NRC stays focused and understands the nuances and change, although we are a light water reactor, which they've known the technology for 50 years, there are nuances that are different small modular reactors. So and our hope is, as we go through this process, which we've budgeted right now in the neighborhood of 50 to $60 million to go through design certification application, we'll also be able to enhance the advanced reactors going through, as you mentioned, the, the gold star, the gold plate of the NRC. So you're paving the way for others, but I'm sure that there's a lot of others that are sitting back and watching the new scale um, uh, uh, process going forward saying, Maybe we don't want to be number two. Maybe we want to wait until uh, it, the, the process is a little more complete. Having to, to produce these these uh, these assessments or these analysis every every step of the way, Mr. Kaczynski, you've mentioned that um, uh, that Southern is is looking to perhaps a more innovative um, uh, licensing process. W what are you recommending? Yeah, let me clarify and thank you for that question. I'll. Uh, tag on what John has to say. In my opening remarks, I talk about light water technology, and the SMR that New Scale is building is a light water technology, just a different type. So, so the existing regime is probably more suitable than it will be for advanced reactors. And so, my comments are around what we are all calling now modernizing the regulatory kind of regime. 
And, and through a lot of work with a lot of groups, we've all kind of landed on, I think, kind of four cornerstones of what we think needs to be done in the regulatory uh, arena. One, it does need to be modernized to accommodate um, fuels that are completely different, that uh, designs that are completely different outside of our knowledge base. So there are really four things we're talking about. Um, first being a more performance-based, meaning just set the expectation of what these products need to deliver and let the innovators figure out how to do it versus a very prescriptive approach. Second is bringing more risk-informed uh, basis into uh, the whole regulatory regime. Um, the third one is really around a staged process, and uh, there's a number of reports out there that talk about trying to retire the technical risk in a more staged process instead of, instead of all the upfront investment uh, without certainty of whether those kind of design concepts will be approved. And then the fourth one is really modernize a framework to be technology inclusive so that it doesn't focus just on a light water technology. What is very good, though, is as we progress in the SMR licensing activities, it really builds on our generation two, our advanced passive reactors, and that there are some generic issues that we believe will be resolved through the SMR licensing process that has direct relationship to advanced reactors. Things like the emergency planning zones, containment, security, control room staffing, those are very good generic issues that, um, as John said, can pave the way for resolving some of these uh, before advanced reactors need to be put together. Right. Thank you. Dr. Gilliland, I'm well over my time, but if, if we have an opportunity to continue this, I, I'd like to, to gain more. So, Senator Cantwell.